What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Amir's Football Corner. And today we are speaking about the huge fixture this weekend between Manchester United and Arsenal at Old Trafford. Now, in recent years, these teams haven't been what they used to be. Uh, when I was growing up, um, Liverpool, I had no qualms with you. Manchester City, my quarrel was not with your team. It was Arsenal, Manchester United, and we needed to beat them no matter what uh, during that season. It was Wenger versus Ferguson. It was huge, um, you know, honor at stake. It was just a, a huge fixture. Um, yes, of recent years, uh, it's been sort of like a mid-table battle, you could say, when Manchester United come up against Arsenal. But now Arsenal have won five games on the trot, 15 points from 15. And uh, Manchester United have recently come into their own uh, two clean sheets in a row, I think, and um, uh, a good result against Liverpool, a victory against Liverpool in that game. Um, so I think it's going to be very exciting. In my opinion, the two teams going up against each other, Arsenal have a very strong attack, but their defense is not always what it needs to be. Manchester United, the opposite. The defense has looked strong. Two clean sheets in a row. Um, Varane and Lissandro Martinez have built a really strong partnership. And I think this fixture has a draw written all over it. Um, 1-1, one, one, even 0-0. Zero, zero. This is uh, my prediction for the game. Um, however, as you know, you never know what's, what can happen in the Premier League, but uh, my prediction is a draw. I think we are going to end um, uh, Arsenal's winning streak, and uh, we might even defeat them. It might even be a 2-1 uh, to, to Manchester United. However, our attack hasn't uh, been all that really uh, Ronaldo in question his, his form is in question and also uh, Martial out injured we haven't really got a number 9 the guy we brought in now Anthony is, is more of a wing uh, we're quite strong on the wings maybe we should adopt the, the false 9 Bruno philosophy that Manchester City did last season I don't know how it's going to exactly work but our attack uh, isn't as threatening, uh, I think, as it can be. Um, Arsenal's uh, Gabriel Jesus has just been phenomenal this season. I don't know where he found his Brazilian passport, but uh, it's it's been amazing um, watching him uh, be on form finally in a team uh, in the system that he fits in. And Manchester City didn't really sort of fit in with with uh, that system of play. They played a false nine, even though he was a real number nine and uh, left him on the bench a few times. But um, yes, it's going to be an extremely exciting game. It's, it's a huge fixture. Um, historically, uh, it's it's billboard settings. It's um, lights, camera, action. Um, it's, it's going to be a real um, eye candy football, I think. It's going to be a really entertaining performance. And uh, yes, Arsenal, you can't ignore uh, five wins uh, on the on the trot. But uh, for me, watching them play and watching Manchester United play, um, as I mentioned before, the eye test, that's also quite important. Yes, you can't ignore uh, an immaculate record. Even if they defeat us, uh, it would be six wins in a row. And they would then be considered title contenders. But in my opinion... Um, Arsenal still haven't reached that elite Premier League Invincibles level. And Manchester United, yes, we haven't either. But um, the football that these two teams play, I think, will end up in uh, a tight game, possibly a draw. But if anyone's going to edge it, I think Manchester United are going to take it because they are at home, it's at Old Trafford. Um, the, the fans are back in the stadiums now, obviously. It's going to be quite uh, an emotional experience, I think. <laughs> not, to, 
<laughs> overreact here yeah, to, to a football game. But I think it's going to be quite an emotional experience watching this game uh, because it's now back at the stature that it was sort of um, when it was in the mid-2000s and uh, the Invincibles were playing against Manchester United's treble winning side. It's, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this game and I hope you enjoy it. And I hope to see you in the next episode of Amir's Football Corner. Cheers.